Okay, now it's time to describe an angle fully. So we need to put in north, south, east and west in with the angles as well. So I am going to go here. All right, so first get the angle. So we have three over, three up. So three in the I direction and three in the J direction. If we put the J's over the I's, it gives me one, get the inverse tan of one and that's 45 degrees. So 45 degrees is the angle. But now we need to put in north, south, east and west in there as well. And what I do is I put the direction horizontally before the, uh, the degree and the vertical direction afterwards. And here's how I read it. I think about the vectors and their components. So the first component goes that direction, that's east. So I'm going to have east first and then I end up going north. So I've got an east and a north in order to get to that position there. I put the east first, then the angle, then the north. So the direction of that vector is east 45 degrees north, which is saying I'm going to the east and then I'm rotating up through 45 degrees to go north. Let's go to the second quadrant and we'll repeat that. <clears throat> First get the angle. So positive j over positive i is 3. Get the inverse tan of that. Inverse tan of 3, I don't know, I'm going to make it up, chance. I'm going to say it's 85 degrees. So I don't think that's correct, but let's say it's 85. So let's say there's 85 there. So then the components go west first of all and then north. So I put the west in front of the number of degrees and the north after it. So the direction of this velocity vector now will be west, 85 degrees, and then north, which says that we're going west and we're rotating north, 85 degrees. Right, let's go to the negative b's. Here we go. <clears throat> Get the angle first, put the positive j over the positive i, 1 over 1 is 1, inverse tan of 1 is 45 degrees. You can see that I'm taking easy values here so that I actually have an angle because I'm not happy giving you a pretend angle like I did in quadrant 2. So it goes 45 degrees there. Now we need to determine whether we put in north, south, east or west. Think about the components. We go west first of all, then we go south. So to describe the angle, or sorry, the direction the vector goes in, it would be west, and then 45 degrees south. So we'd write it W, capital W, 45, and then capital S for south. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look at this one. All right, calculate the angle. It'll be the inverse tan of a fifth. You can work that out. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to pretend it's 20 degrees. So to get the direction of the vector U, we're going east along the I component, and then we're going south. So to write it, it would be E, uh, what did I say? 20 degrees and then S for south. Okay, time for some practice for you guys.